ओम शांति फिफ्टीन मार्च इंग्लिश अव्यक्त मूल्य डिवाइन स्टेट थर्टीन मार्च नाइन्टी एट टॉपिक टू स्टेबिलाईज इन द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड होली मीन्स टू बिकम इक्वल टू द फादर टुडे बाप दादा इज सींग हिज चिल्ड्रन एव्हरीवेअर हो आर द होलीएस्ट हायस्ट अँड रिचेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड नो मॅटर वेदर द चिल्ड्रन आर पर्सनली इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम और आर सिटिंग फार अवे अँड आर क्लोज इन देअर हार्ट्स बाप दादा इज हॅपी टू सी द चिल्ड्रन एव्हरीवेअर एव्हरी चाइल्ड बिकम्स द होलीएस्ट टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दॅट नो प्युअर महात्मा प्युअर ग्रेट सोल हॅज एव्हर बिकम दॅट और कुड बिकम दॅट थ्रू आउट द एन्टायर सायकल फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम रिलीजियस सोल्स and great souls have remained pure but there is a difference between their purity and your purity you become pure at this time and you receive the attainment and reward of the purity of this time in your many future births your bodies minds wealth relations connections and you the souls all remain pure you souls and your bodies both become pure you souls attain such purity by becoming pure in your thoughts words and deeds you attain such a great reward so you are such holiest souls do you consider yourselves to be such holiest souls have you become such souls or are you still becoming this is it easy to become this or a little difficult however you did become like this in the previous cycle and you now have to become like this again is this form within you or is it that you will make do even if it is not that form for you no even in your dreams impurity has to finish you have the faith do you not that today you are becoming this and that you will have become this tomorrow so you are the holiest and the highest the children of the highest on high father are the highest on high it is when you become the highest that you are worshiped none of the highest souls of today none of the kings that used to exist but no longer exist no president or prime minister ever becomes worthy of being worshiped they become worshipers and bow down in front of you souls who are becoming worthy of being worshiped and worship you at this time you become the masters of the world and in the future you become the king of kings so you attain the highest status as well as this you are also the richest in the world your title is multi multi millionaires your creations are such that the millionaires and billionaires of today even with their millions and billions are not able to attain such treasures the fortune of you elevated souls is being created by the father in such a way that you experience and even speak of having multi millions with every step you take are there multi millions in your every step or is it a 100 fold or a thousand fold not even the greatest millionaire can earn such an income how much time does it take to take a step when you take a step how long does it take time a second okay it may take 2 seconds even if you say it takes 2 seconds to take a step you earn multi millions in every 2 seconds so how many multi millions would that be at the end of the whole day just calculate this are there any such millionaires who are able to earn such an income in one day would there be anyone like that so you are the richest in the world are you not and your treasures are such that no fire can burn them no water can flood them no thieves can steal them 
and no rulers can snatch them away from you. It is only at this most auspicious confluence age that you are able to attain such treasures. Do you have such self-respect in your awareness? Yes or no? Those who are sitting at the back are waving their hands. All of you at the back are sitting comfortably, are you not? You are the richest in the world and so you have nothing but comfort even at the greatest universities. Students do not sit on coaches to study. However, you are the beggars who are becoming prince. You are beggars as well as prince. To renounce everything means to become a beggar and to have all attainments means to become a prince. Without renouncing something, you cannot receive such a huge fortune. You have received your fortune through your renunciation. You have renounced your bodies, minds, money and relations. That is, you have transformed them all. Instead of saying, the body is mine, you say, the body is yours. By changing just the one word, mine, to yours. In terms of your body, mind, money and relations, by renouncing the consciousness of mind, in this way, you claim your right to such a fortune through this renunciation. So, what is this renunciation compared to the fortune you receive? It's only the small thing or is this a big thing? It sometimes feels like something big. To say yours means to make a big thing small and to say mine means to make a small thing big, no matter what happens. Even if you have a problem a hundred times bigger than the Himalayas, when you say yours, it means you make a mountain into cotton wool, not even a mustard seed, but cotton wool within a second. Do not just say yours, even more, don't just accept it as yours, but also act accordingly. It is easy to transform everything through transforming just one word, is it not? You experience nothing but benefit. There can be no loss in this. By saying yours, you give all of your burdens to the Father. You say to Baba, you know that everything is yours. I am just an instrument. So, there is benefit in this. Is there not? You became detached and you became loved. You are loved by God and those who are loved by God are loved by everyone in the world. You don't just have attainment in the future, but you also have the attainment of the present time. You have already experienced this in a second. You can even try it for a second and see. When anything happens, simply say yours, accept it and act accordingly and see whether your burden becomes light or not. You have experienced this, have you not? All of you sitting here are experienced, are you not? What happens is that because you have had the habit of saying mine, mine, over a period of 63 births, you start of saying yours, yours, but you then begin to say mine, and when you say mine, everything stops. Although that situation might last for an hour or two hours, or even a day, by your changing yours into mine, the fruit of that lasts much longer. The situation may have lasted for just half an hour, but whether in the form of repentance or in the form of trying to change the situation, you continue to remember that situation again and again. Therefore, the father says to all the children, if you have love for the word mine, if you have this habit or this sanskar and feel compelled to say it, then say, my Baba. Many are compelled by their habits. Whenever you have the feeling of the consciousness of mine, then say, my Baba, and put an end to it there and then. Merge all the different types of mine into my Baba.
द पीपल फ्रॉम रशिया हैव डॉल्स विथ मैनी अदर डॉल्स इन साइड ईच वन इन साइड द नेक्स्ट इन द सेम वे यू हैव टू मर्ज ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ माइंड इन टू माई बाबा एंड पुट इन एंड टू देम ऑल आर यू एबल टू डू दिस यू डू दिस बट यू समाइम्स ऑल्सो गो इन टू द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ माइंड एट द मोमेंट दिस ओनली हैपन समाइम्स हावेवर इट इज नंबर वाइज इन योर चेंजिंग माइंड इन टू योर्स फॉर ऑल टाइम देर आर दोज हु आर ए वन दोज हु आर नंबर वन एंड देन दोज हु हैव अ नंबर आफ्टर दैट यू हैव कम टू सेलिब्रेट होली हैवन यू देर फॉर रिमेम्बर दिस मंत्र I have now become the father. I now belong to Baba. I have now become part of the godly family. That is, I now belong here. So, did you celebrate holy in this way? What are you going to do now? Is there still something that you have to burn, or have you already burned everything? You are not saying yes to this. Are you still thinking about it? Whatever festivals people celebrate on the path of devotion are just memorials, but there is some significance in their creation. First, you have to burn everything, and then you celebrate. It isn't that you celebrate first and then burn something. First, incinerate away the impurity, weaknesses, and defects, and then celebrate. So. All of you burned everything a long time ago, or is a small part of the stars around your neck still to be burned, or do the Pandavas still have a small part of their bushes to burn, or it is part of the costume they are wearing that still has to be burned? A little piece of sari isn't still waiting to be burned, is it? In fact. You can only the experience of the power and super sensual joy of this spiritual and physical celebration when you have first burned everything. To celebrate as entertainment is a different matter. For that, the confluence age is the age of experiencing pleasure. This is why people celebrate it as entertainment, and you can also do that. You can celebrate in this way a great deal. However, to be coloured by God's colour means to become equal to the Father. This is what it means to be coloured by the colour. The Father is bodiless and avyakt, and so to experience the bodiless stage and the avyakt angelic stage is to be coloured by His colour. Perform actions, but do so as an avyakt angel. experience the bodiless stage when you want your mind and intellect should be controlled by you in this way when you order yourself to become bodiless you should be able to become that as soon as you give that order you become an angel you should be able to stabilize your mind within a second in any stage you want don't think that it didn't take a long time that it only took 5 seconds or that it only took 2 seconds you were unable to fulfill the order so your mind did not remain under your control no matter what the situation may be even if there is some sort of fluctuation you have to become stable amidst any fluctuation do you have such controlling power or is it that while you are thinking about becoming bodiless time passes by and you just think about it the father continues to see how many children keep changing their pose they think i want to become bodiless then they think to become bodiless means to stabilize in the form of the soul then they think yes i am a soul i am not a body i am a soul i came as a soul i have to become a soul so did you become bodiless while thinking this or did you just battle to become bodiless you ordered your mind to become bodiless in a second 
you did not tell your mind to think about what it means to become bodiless or when or how you can become bodiless so your mind didn't obey your order therefore you do not have the power to control do you according to the time you need to practice if you don't have the power to control many situations could cause you upheaval therefore even if you just remember the one word holy that is enough holy means the past is the past and holy means i now belong to the father what else have you become holy means you have become a pure soul remember the one word holy and use it with its three meanings do not just speak about it because holy means that the past is the past yes the past is the past do not keep thinking or talking about what has passed no stabilize in the meaning of it become that as soon as you think about it it shouldn't be that when you think about it you remain lost in just thinking about it no as soon as you think about it become that stabilize yourself in that an honoring ceremony for the double foreigners who have been in knowledge for 10 years or more are celebrated all of you who celebrated ceremony in this way did you not did you celebrate holy bab dada is very happy to see every unique and lovely thing the whole family is also happy to see such things did you see your photo very clearly did you like it did you just see your face or did you also see the stage of your mind you saw your face in this mirror and that was very good you did very well however did you also see your stage in the mirror of knowledge it is good bab dada does not see whether you have been continuing on this path for 10 years or 15 years but that you have remained eternal and immortal while continuing for so long baba is happy to see this you have performed great wonders you changed the culture country customs and systems and sanskars that you had of double foreigners and became residents of bharat what would you call yourself now are you residents of madhuban or residents of america or london where are you from are you from madhuban we are residents of madhuban do you not remember america or russia madhuban is your permanent address whereas america russia africa australia japan and everywhere else are all your service stations your permanent residential address is madhuban you have taken different names and forms and adopted different languages and different cultures just for service otherwise if you hadn't taken birth there how many languages would the sisters from bharat have had to learn how many languages would they have to learn so all of you went there for service bab dada has seen that double foreigners are very keen to open centers as soon as they have a flat they open a center that too is good that is why there are so many centers in so many countries bab dada is giving many 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 congratulations to the double foreigners for their zeal and enthusiasm you have spread service very well in a short time so you are fast how many years has it been since service began in the foreign lands how many years has it been since service began in london in 1998 it was 27 years it has been 62 years in bharat and 27 years abroad so bab dada is happy to see how much service has expanded now only one type of service remains bab dada would not let you be just like that it isn't that service has already finished no there is still more to be done bab dada is signaling 
all the double foreigners about your future service. You now have to serve the media to a greater extent. The newspapers from abroad will serve Bharat. This has now started to happen a little due to one reason or another. However, just as when establishment started, the news of that was published abroad in the newspapers. So now too, let such things be mentioned in the papers abroad that the eyes of the people of Bharat open. Things have started to be written in the newspapers of Bharat, but it is the newspapers abroad that will awaken Bharat. Just as you have mentioned the Brahma Kumaris on the website on the computer, so your name should now also be mentioned on the world radio. Anyone who wants to get information about the Brahma Kumaris can do so from their computer. You have put very good information on it, but no one knows about it. The people of Bharat would be able to take benefit, but it hasn't as yet been advertised. You have created a good invention. Double foreigners are able to receive benefit very well through these material facilities. Everyone in Bharat listens to the BBC news, so there should be something mentioned in that news. Then, see how much the sound of you will spread everywhere. Now perform this wonder. Now introduce yourself in this way. Your name appears on local TV and radio all the time. But the sound of your name should now spread in such a way that even those who have never heard of you before will come to hear about you. You do something new every year. You make plans for something new. You also hold many meetings. Do a lot more like that. When your children maintain courage, the father helps. Someone just has to become the instrument for this because it is fixed in the drama for every task to happen. Someone or other becomes an instrument for that. Someone becomes an instrument at the right time. So, someone has to become the instrument for this task too. Acha, to the holiest souls in all directions, to the highest souls who remain constantly stable in the highest stage, to the richest souls who are full of all treasures, to those who accumulate multi-millions with their every step, to the elevated souls who are to become equal to the Father, to the souls who are the masters, the children of the ocean of forgiveness, and so have mercy and forgive everyone, to the souls who give all the unhappy souls of the world a drop of peace and happiness by giving them a powerful current of light and might, to the deep intense effort makers who constantly keep their account of accumulation full at every moment. Babdara's love, remembrance and namaste. Blessing, may you be a master comforter of hearts and give comfort to each one's heart by being an image that grants blessings the same as the father. Description, children who are images that grant blessings the same as the father never see anyone's weaknesses and are merciful towards everyone. Just as the father doesn't keep anyone's weakness in his heart, similarly, children who are images that grant blessings never allow anyone's weaknesses to enter their hearts. They are master comforters of hearts who give comfort to each one's heart and this is why whether someone is a companion or a subject, they all sing praise of one such as this. Blessings emerge from within each one that that one is always loving and cooperative with them. Slogan At the confluence stage, elevated souls are those who are always carefree emperors. Om Shanti